plays on your mind a little bit. What could I have done differently to prevent that situation from happening? A few years ago, Hannah was excited to start at an after-school job at a major retail chain. But she soon saw a dark side to the industry. Everyone I knew that worked there had an experience with being sexually harassed at work. Um, from like anything as small as just awkward comments that customers would make or as severe as being stalked by customers um, and having some really scary experiences like that. The uncomfortable conversations, propositions and sexually suggestive remarks from customers became a regular occurrence. As a 17 year old, I had never experienced anything like that before. At the time, I was showing him a really like high value item in store and because we had individual budgets that we had to meet every day, I felt I couldn't exit the conversation and still make the really big sale. It's very tricky because the whole point of customer service is to build a relationship with the customer so that you know they feel comfortable and happy um, and if they're comfortable and happy then they'll let go of their money a little easier. <laughs> Hannah's experience is all too common, as Sydney University Professor of Gender, Work and Employment Relations Ray Cooper found in new research given to the business. Retail workers describe sexual harassment as basically being part of the job, um, and that's the title of our report. Findings couldn't be more timely, with recent allegations emerging at Country Road. Sexual harassment is pervasive and it spreads across the different segments of retail. The retail industry is the third largest employer in Australia. More than half the workforce are women, many of them teenagers. Researchers say this makes them more vulnerable to sexual harassment and they're calling on employers to do more to protect their workers. Employers have in Australia now what is known as a positive duty to ensure that they have taken reasonably practical steps to ensure that their employees are safe from harm and safe from harassment at work. Is retail a safe place to work for women and young people especially? On the evidence that we have at the moment, I don't think retail is 100% uh, safe for young workers uh, and women, particularly young women. Clearly, this report is showing that they, are, they don't feel safe at work. The Australian Retailers Association CEO Paul Zara says his organisation is soon releasing a training platform to address the issue. Were you shocked by the findings? Look, we, I wasn't shocked, but really uh, quite concerned and disappointed. And of course, we're looking at ways to take those findings into recommendations to implement. You know, we're really motivated to, to, to take action, and that's really the main point. And what action is that? Well, the findings from the report tell us that we should be collecting data better in stores. Mr Zara says in the case of harassment, the buck stops with management. The CEO needs to make sure that they've, they've got confidence in their policies, their procedures, the culture becomes really important as well. So there's a, there's a culture of reporting. Young retail worker Hannah also wants to see better training and better procedures to report sexual harassment. Where I worked, we had quite a bit of training from the company in regards to our product knowledge, also how to make a sale. I can't remember any training that I did that went through how to deal with customers that are making you feel uncomfortable. Protections needed to keep workers safe.